Good morning, I'm Steve VK3 Cannibal Seed. Today, just a quick um, antenna update and doing something unique that not a lot of people do that's quite simple to do. I'm up mounting, well, I've mounted my six metre beam onto the boom of my uh, four element tri band Yagi. Um, I'll just go through some of the basic principles of how this is done and uh, why it was done. And uh, yeah, it seems to work pretty good. So, it works the States and uh, Mexico from VK3 and uh, quite a few JAs as well. Still in the, in the um, finalising it, but uh, set up and everything like that, but this word's very good and yeah, it works well. I use the YU7 uh, Echo Foxtrot uh, 0606 design. Initially, it was the 05, 0605 design, a uh, five element, then I moved it up to the six element. So it fits there quite comfortably. So uh, let's get onto the antenna. So this is the uh, reflector of the tri-band. I haven't got the trap on the bottom because it's best been modified. And then we have the driven element there and the first director. Then we go to the second element of the tri-bander and then we've got the, uh, the second uh, director and uh, the third director. And I'll put the fourth director will go just in front of the other one there. So a couple of things to note that I've done with this setup keeping it short and sweet is um, I've mounted I've mounted it further back on the boom than where the driven element is for the uh, for the tri-bander the tri-bander in question is a T34 uh, from Ted Entrom in Australia but similar to any of the high gain ones boom is six and a half metres long so that's why I could go for the bigger antenna so I mounted it back and here's my theory and I'm not a scientist so don't quote me on anything so driven elements there. So I've done everything for the first two elements and they're between the driven element and the reflector of the 10 metre beam because I figured it'll be easier for this antenna to see the reflector if it's in front of the 10 metre, uh, sorry, the, the reflector of the tri-bander. And so we've got the four, uh, three elements there. Then we've got the rest and go through quite well. Works really well, signal reports have been excellent. Uh, and that's the mounting system that I'm using. Pretty simple in the feed point. It's just basically a coax choke and just uh, using a hydraulic line uh, clamps to hold them in place and away you go. It's not rocket science, just get the spacings right. And I'll just go around three from the other side. And this is it, and this is the feed point for the uh, T43, which is actually about to be upgraded to a proper ballon that I've got. When I took down my step IR, I wanted to have six metres still. And I wanted to have it on a separate boom, so I could actually walk, go, if I went out, I could still be receiving FT8 and have a good idea of what uh, what's happening on 10 and six metres simultaneously, and you can do that this way. The other way you can do it is you can use it, a parasitic feed, uh, some people do that, but that shortens up the length of the antenna. Because obviously here, your feed point, so close, it's still got a lot of room. So you probably missed about one and a half metres of boom length of, of, of well, that could have been used. So separate feed line, made more coax, but it's, I just think a better solution for so many reasons. And yeah, it seems to work well. So next time you're doing something like this, consider it. Uh, putting a six, uh, uh, putting a six metre antenna onto your tri-bander also saves um, when you've got a lot of space on the haven't got a lot of space on your pole and it also gets rid of the problem that I found um, with interaction when they're there and they can actually see the other stuff in the other aluminium this doesn't tend to see anything that's on the same boom so it seems to be quite good like that all right um, yeah any questions put it in but it's uh it's good SWR is fine uh, it's working, it's performing, and that's more than anything. And with six metres, it's going to open up in the next couple of, or oh, this year and next year it already has. So working to the states quite often, and it's winter time now, or the start of winter, and uh, so yeah, autumn actually. So um, yeah, and we're getting to the states and still getting to Mexico and Japan daily, or almost daily. A couple of guys worked into the Middle East, so the very very good things. And the more elements you can have on six metres, the better it is. I don't think you're going to be right with a three element or a four element Yagi. You really need to be five or six and uh, if you want a game changer, go to seven. I've had a seven element up and it's another world. Right, 
Thanks for the chat, thanks for listening, and uh, thanks for watching. If you like the content, please like and uh, share, and uh, subscribe to the channel. I know most of you uh, are not subscribers, so please uh, show me the love, and uh, a subscription would be great. But also a like, and a comment down below. Tell me what you think. Have you tried this before? Did it work for you? And uh, and if you did do it before, did you use a passive element, or did you uh, have a separate feed point altogether? All right. Seven threes, and uh, good day, and we'll talk to you soon. This is